Hey all, Rusty RV TV, welcome. Check it out. We're heading, we're actually going through Phoenix right now. We're going to cut over to the 101. Just leaving the Lost Dutchman State Park. Superstition Mountains. Wasn't that a pretty area? That canyon lake was gorgeous. Here's the big metropolis of Phoenix and we're traveling right through it. <laughs> Right up here, we're going to catch 101 North. We're going to head north today. Going to go up near Cottonwood, Jerome, that area. Well, caught up a little bit of traffic. Basically, what I do is take the 101 right up to the I-17. Then we're going to head north. I'll kick the cameras on when we get up a little farther. Yay, made it through that mess. That was uh, pretty intense traffic. Too much to film. That's why I don't like doing the freeways. But we're kind of stuck on 17 here for a while. We're going to go up a little town called Black Canyon City. Stop and check that place out. Remember this road here, Carefree Highway. This is where we started when we left Quartzsite. We came out this way. Pretty good little loop. I mean, we did good on this mission so far. A couple places I wanted to get to, they're just a little too crowded, but guess what? We'll come back down south, that's not a problem. There's 74, Carefree Highway. That's the road that takes you over to Lake Pleasant, where we uh, boondocked that one night. And also, you can go back through Wickenburg, pick up Highway 60, and go all the way back to Quartzsite that direction. Truthfully, I like that route better than I do uh, Interstate 10. All right, we got a few freeway miles here. Let's see what we can do. This I-17 is actually a very pretty drive. It's just so heavily traveled. Very fast-paced road. But this is the main artery. This is the main route from Phoenix straight up to Flagstaff. And it gets busy, especially in the rush hour times. A lot of people live out this direction and they commute back in the Phoenix, Scottsdale, Mesa, all them areas. There's a wreck on this road. Forget it. You're going to sit here a while, which I know I've done it. <laughs> Pretty, pretty country. There's some sororas out there. A lot of people live here. Wow, check out this guy. He's in a hurry. Zoom. Oh, well. All right. Enjoy the ride. We're climbing at a pretty good pace. I think we're probably over 2,000 feet here, something like that. Well, see what the sign says. Black Canyon City, six miles. Yay! Okay, we made it. This should be our exit. You know, there's a place called the Pie Box here. I never stopped. 
But guess what? Today we're going to stop. We're going to do one of them things where hey, you always drive by and say, Someday I'm going to stop here. Well, today's the day. Because <laughs> we have time. Exit 242. This is also... Uh, I think there's two communities. When I look at it here on the phone, it's Rock Springs and Black Canyon City. I know we got to make a left here. There's several RV parks and campgrounds around here. I've had friends stay up in here. There's four-wheeling. I mean, once again, Arizona's best. Look, all the servers, my goodness, everywhere, as far as you can see. Okay, I think I need to make a left. Yeah, Black Canyon says to right, but yeah, Rock Springs. All right. Sorry, kind of looking at the phone and driving. <laughs> Don't tell. Should be right up down here in the right. Here it is, right here in Rock Springs, right there on the right. There's the pie place. All right, let me get parked. Rock Springs, there's a little general store. Look at all the cars. This is pretty cool. There's the pie box, yay. All kinds of stuff, huh? Art sale. Big old bench you can sit on. What do we got here? What's happening at the rock? There you go. All the local stuff. Ice machine. You can buy your ice here. Saloon. Yay. They got a little bit of everything. Restaurants. In the pie box. Don't worry, we're going to go and get a pie in a second. Looks like some vendors over here. Beef jerky. Farmer's market. Yay. Huh. And honey. Alright, let's go to the pie box. Welcome to the pie box, seven to eight. Wow, long hours. Outdoor seating. God, you can smell the pies cooking. <laughs> oh, man. All right, we gotta get something here. Wow, pretty cool, colorful, huh? Which one do I want? Look at this. My goodness. Oh, man. <laughs> wow, they're back there baking them. You talk about some pies. Look at all these things. Got jams and jellies and everything. Drinks. Okay, I gotta pick one out. Telling you what I got. <laughs> Look at all the people. I mean, these guys are don't don't knock on the glass. It scares the pie bakers. There's every kind of pie you can think of. They got a big old park out here. You can sit and eat. What a cool little stop. I'm glad I stopped here. Never did. Once again, this is one of these things. Someday I'm going to stop. They got a private event. Probably a wedding or something, maybe. Huh? huh. Cool. I 
All right, well, let's head for the van. We're going to keep on trucking north. Yep, it's a big secret. I ain't telling you what I got here. <laughs> nope, not telling. What a cool stop. Oh, if you get a chance, go in there. Oh, just the smell of the pies and everything. What a neat little stop. Now off the left's one of the RV parks. We'll stay in the front of the road here. Let's go through Black Canyon City. Before we get back on the highway check it out a little bit one mile black canyon city okay i think this is it downtown Black Canyon City. <laughs> Quite a few RVs. More RV parks. A few little businesses. Small town. This is small town USA right here. Wow, big old school bus there for sale. Local market. A few more shops. I'd say that's it. <laughs> Definitely small town. Love it. A lot of ranches here. I mean, you're right nestled in this canyon here. It's just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. But it gets hot here. We're only probably about, what, 30, 40 miles north of Phoenix area. Not that far. More camping off to the left here. Cool little stop, though. Right off busy I-17. You can see a little bit better. Look at those mountains, it's pristine. They get a little bit of snow up there in the mountains. You might get a dusting here too. Look how they carved that highway right through that canyon there. Bird's eye view. And that's the direction we're going. North. Can't wait. Fun little stop. It's definitely, I'll, I'll stop there again. The pie box. Alrighty. Back on the highway. I-17 North. It's only a little over 100 miles between Phoenix and Flagstaff on this road. We're not going all the way at Flagstaff. We're going to cut off. We're going to go into... I thought we'd go explore Cottonwood. Maybe a little bit of Jerome. There's another little town there called Clarkdale. Thought that'd be a fun little adventure up in here. We're still climbing. Now watch how the terrain changes right up here at the top. We've been cut through the mountains and the canyon and the canyon walls. Watch this here in a couple minutes. 
it's absolutely amazing. I've driven this road a few times, quite a few actually. Look at this, flat, open, no more mountains. <laughs> now once we get up farther, get close to Cottonwood, there's the mountains over there. But look how flat and open, all open range here. Isn't that neat? You just drive right out of it. Okay, oh look at the sign here. National Mar Monument. A Gua Fria? Something like that. It's a National Monument. <laughs> Wanna stop? Heck yeah. Alright, let's check it out. I don't know what the heck's out here in the middle of nowhere. Exit 259 off I-17. Cool. take a break for a minute anyway. Never really paid attention to this one. Horse Thief Basin off to the left. Huh. Okay. Well, let's see what we can find out. The terrain out this way is so beautiful. Absolutely. You can take a picture everywhere. Sunrises, sunsets, powerful. Big monsoons in the summer, all the thunderstorms that roll through here. Okay, they got some storyboards here. Stop. Looks pretty rough road. Let's see what it is. the vital desert oasis. It's like water back there. Wow, it's quite a ways back in there. There's a spring and creek. Audubon Society, 194 species. So it's way back down there. There's a trailer parked here. This is more of a four-wheeler thing, I bet. Oh, what do you think? Should I try to drive in there or not? <laughs> well, I just talked to a guy. He goes, it gets pretty rough way back in there. So he goes, I can go down here and turn around. Go down about a mile. I see a big old fifth wheel. Looks like he's camping out there. Warning, not recommended for passenger cars. Yeah, that's what that guy was telling me. It gets pretty rough. It can wash out too. All right, let me go up here. We'll turn around. Check it out a little bit anyway. Primitive Road. They're not kidding, but that guy got that fifth wheel up in here. Yeah, it's pretty rough. Anyway, it gives you a little idea what the train is. I'm not really sure what that National Monument is. It looked like a big wide open area. Like open range or something with water. 
I'll have to look it up online. Let me get turned around here. Jump out a second. Let's get a picture of this. Well, if you wonder what the desert looks like up here, there you go. <laughs> Not much vegetation up here, is there? Dry. And also, we've had no rain this season. Alright, let's hit the road. Okay, we're heading downhill. We're almost getting up here to Highway 260. Gonna take us up in the cottonwood. Don't realize how far up we are until you start heading down this beautiful canyon here. Look at this. Absolutely gorgeous. We're not that far from Sedona. And actually Flagstaff is not that far up the road now. We're getting we're getting up here a ways. Exit 260, I reserved a space at a campground up in Old Cottonwood. You know, there's actually Old Town up there, Jerome, all kinds of cool stuff. All right, here's Highway 260. This is all built up out here and they love their roundabouts. Absolutely every intersection up in this area, there is roundabouts. <laughs> Which is good, I mean, keeps, keeps the traffic flowing. Because there's a lot of people who live up this direction. Alright, next stop, Cottonwood. The journey continues. Talk soon.